One thing I think many of us with fine curls can agree on is that oils can really weigh down our hair. I know personally I'm stuck using the same two or three oils and even then it's part of a treatment. It's never to add shine to my hair because it just always weighs it down. But Diva Curl, one of my favorite brands, um, released a multi-benefit oil. It's called High Shine. And they sent one over my way and I thought I'd answer the question, does it work on fine curls? Hey curl friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rochelle and this is Disco Curls TV. If you're new here, welcome. My channel provides tips on how to care for your fine curly hair so that you feel empowered and supported to be the best version of yourself. I try to post weekly when I can, <laughs> but when I do, I do curly hair tutorials, I do product reviews, sometimes pregnancy and postpartum hair chat, and much more. So let's go over the details of what exactly is in this multi-benefit oil. I wrote them down so I wouldn't forget. The key ingredients are babasu oil, coconut oil, pikui oil, flaxseed oil, and passion fruit oil. So the first thing that makes me nervous is the coconut oil. I don't like using coconut oil as a finishing product. Um, I have used it to detangle my hair and also um, just, you know, maybe perhaps a little bit in some other treatments, but really not for finishing. So um, in my experience, if I blend coconut oil with other oils that are very lightweight, it's not too bad. So we're gonna find out shortly if this works. According to their website, babasu oil is going to add lightweight shine without a heavy residue. Coconut oil is going to help minimize frizz. Pakui oil supports curl definition while minimizing frizz. Flaxseed oil adds nutrients and passion fruit oil is going to add moisture. Also, it mentions that it's going to help smooth, seal, and improve the appearance of split ends and protect against color fading and UV exposure. So those are the benefits of this oil. I really like that there is UV protection because I do take my babies on a walk every day and I love to go to the beach. So I'm happy to hear that it will protect my hair from some of the sun. Another cool feature is that it has a fine mist spray applicator, which is something I find really important when it comes to fine curls. I'm sure many of you have overdone it with the oils and it's really hard to come back from that. So with this applicator, you can spray your hands once or twice. So let's spray it once. Like even once I think is enough for us. Um, you can spray it once or twice to get the perfect amount to apply to your curls. You can smooth it into your hair when it's dry. You can scrunch it up however you'd like to do it. You can just use your fingertips and apply it to your ends. And if your hair is on the thicker side, I'm sure you can spray it directly into your hair. But when we're talking about fine curls, you really don't want to do that because it's just going to weigh it down. The scent itself is, it's, it's kind of sweet um, and not too overpowering, which I like. The price point is a little high. It's $29 for this little bottle. But if you think about it, if you're only using like one spritz for your hair for the day, I mean, you could probably make this last you six months to a year at least. Um, I don't know, I don't use oils on my hair that often, so I feel like I'll have this for at least a year. So I guess if you are factoring that into the price, then it's really not that much. Plus, I wouldn't expect anything less from Diva Curl because this is a premium brand. It's not something that you're just gonna find um, at the dollar store. It's gonna be something that is on the higher end. So I'm just working it into my hands. I don't think this is meant for your hands, but I wanted to just see because they've been so dry and cracked. And I will say um, it provides a nice sheen and it doesn't feel super heavy. Some of the other ways you can use this is to spritz this into your styling cream or gel just to give your hair more shine. You can do the lock method with this. If you don't know what the lock method is, it's leave-in oil, then cream. There's also leave-in cream oil if you like the LCO method better, whatever floats your boat. Um, but you can use this by spraying it either into your hands or directly into your hair um, for the oil portion of those. Like I mentioned before, you can just spritz your fingertips and add it just to your ends. And you can use this on wet or dry hair. I think it's just best to experiment with your hair and oils because what works for me may not work for you. But the big question is, does, does it, work? it work? So let's finally try this out on my hair. I don't normally use oils as a styling product or a finishing product, so... Let's cross our fingers that it works out because it never really does for me. Let's see if Diva Curl came through for your girl. All right, my hair is already washed, styled, dried. Let's see what happens. We should probably close up for this. So here is my hair 
without any oil. It looks pretty nice. All right, those are my ends. I mean, I haven't had a real haircut in over, I think it's been two years, you guys. And, you know, I did a little bit of trimming myself. So, the, you know, you think the ends would be worse, but they're not. So we're going to try this out. So let's see here. Let's do two. Let's go for it. You can see my hand is glistening. So I'm going to just rub that together. Turn my head this way and scrunch. That's how we're going to apply it. You know, I don't feel like it looks weighed down. I can't even tell because I didn't get a good look and I can't really see on the monitor here. I think I'll go ahead and smooth it in since it doesn't look super weighed down. Okay, so let's try the other side. I'm going to spritz again. You may need to move this back. Let's adjust. Okay. I do like the shine. Huh. All right. I'm going to... I'm going to go for it, you guys. I'm going to smooth it in. I'm going to go upside down first. Let's do this. Not normally something I would do, but we're doing it today. Just scrunch the rest. Huh. Hey, I think Diva Curl did it. I still have my volume. Let's zoom in again. Let's get some of these ends. I probably should have stopped and left an area a little bit drier, but I'm gonna just get these fingertips here and work them together. Let's see how this works out. Probably going to be really difficult to tell. <laughs> okay, those little curls there look nice. Nice and shiny. I think that's just how we have to do it. Okay, so I'm just going to do a little shaking to like get an idea how this is going to look. I don't really feel like it's super weighed down. I do feel like it looks shinier though, in a good way. Hey. <laughs> so what do you all think? Do you think that it looks weighed down? Let me know honestly down below in the comments. I think it's good. I think it, I give it a thumbs up for sure. What do you think? I'd love to know down below in the comments. If you're new to my Fine Curly Crew, I'd love to have you subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you are properly notified of when I post new content. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.